Hello friends. Today, I am going to explain a horror thriller movie. Fresh was released in 2022. Its director is Mimi Cave. This movie got a 6.7 out of 10 IMDb rating. The film begins with a young girl named Noah, who has no family in this world, not even parents or siblings. Molly is the only friend who looks after her. She begins looking for a boy on a dating website in order to marry. She decides to meet a boy after talking to him. Later, they meet in a hotel and talk over dinner to get to know each other. Because that boy was odd, Noah disliked him and his behavior. Noah notices that the boy lacks manners and eats poorly, and that he is unconcerned about cleanliness. After eating, she tells him, I don't like you because you're not like me, and I can't date you anymore. After hearing this, the boy feels terrible and leaves while saying ill to Noah. She feels like someone is chasing her. When she was moving towards her car, but it was her illusion because there was an ordinary man. Noah meets Molly and says that this boy was odd and I don't like him. Noah was working in her home, but she was still attentive toward the site where she can find a boy to marry. A man sends a nude picture to Noah and she places her phone aside scared. She goes to a store to do some grocery, but everyone looks at her strangely she starts buying things while ignoring them. During this, she meets a boy named Steve. She likes that boy and his nature so she talks to him and becomes friends. They also exchange their numbers. Noah again meets Molly and tells her about Steve. She claims that she will no longer look for a boy on that website, but will look for a man here. Noah was returning home and receives Steve's message who calls her to meet in the evening. As the evening appears, Noah moves to meet him in a bar, and the bar owner was also Noah's friend. They talk, and now is having a good time with him. Steve tells her that he has none in this world like her. I am a famous doctor even though there are my details on Google as well and claims that he is a surgeon and performs good surgery. Later, they end up drinking several wine glasses one at a time. They like each other's nature, so they move to Steve for a bit of time. The next morning, Noah awakes and takes Steve's picture as she likes him. Then she calls Molly while taking a shower. She tells her while sending Steve's picture that she likes him. We were together yesterday night and he is so nice. We spent a good time. Hearing this, Molly says okay if you like him so send me a social media account like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or any site. I want to stalk him a little bit. But Noah says Steve isn't active on any social media and doesn't have any site. Molly feels strange how is that possible? Well, now they were spending more time. And Steve says I have planned a trip for you, will you come? There, I kept a thing for you that will make you astonished but I can't tell you about it right now. Noah agrees to go on a trip with him and also tells Molly about this trip. Molly says, okay, take care of yourself. They move in their car for the trip and Noah's mobile lost its network as they were moving out of the city and she couldn't tell Molly where she is. The night appears while traveling and they reach a house that belongs to Steve. Moving inside, Noah notices weird paintings on the wall, but she moves to Steve while ignoring this. They start drinking, but suddenly Noah gets faint and falls down where the real face of Steve is revealed. Noah awakes, but she couldn't understand why she got faint and what's going on here because Steve has chained her. Noah becomes frightened and asks Steve while weeping, what do you want? Why you tied me? Release me, but Steve doesn't free her and she gets scared. She feels that Steve will do bad to her, but he doesn't do anything with her, but he brought her here for something else. Later, he tells her why he has brought her here. He says, I will sell your body parts while separating them and will keep you here until I sell your all body parts. There are still insane people in this world who likes to eat girls' flesh, and Steve performs this job to convey flesh to them. Noah loses her control after hearing this. Noah didn't message Molly so she cares for her, and she texts Noah, but Steve was replying as Noah. He sends her a picture from the net while telling her about the wrong location to mislead her. Noah starts shouting loudly. She discovers a girl in the room nearby her room, and Steve brought her here like to sell her flesh. Steve also eats the flesh of the girls. The girl tells Noah that Steve brought the girls here who are orphans and don't belong to this city so none will come to find them. There was a girl in the room near them, but she has become insane and kept on singing. Molly becomes concerned about her as she feels there is something wrong and she Googles Steve. There was no doctor surgeon named Steve on Google and Molly suspects that someone else is texting on Noah's phone. She finds that picture on the internet and discovers this is a picture of a place taken from the net so she becomes more concerned. She understands that Noah is stuck in a trouble. Steve was locking the girl's body parts while separating them, as well as their pictures and belongings, so the people who will eat their flesh will enjoy it. Later, the boxes were conveyed to everyone. 
Noah says to Steve she has to take showers so he takes her upstairs. Noah was finding a way to escape, and even she tries to escape while getting a chance. But Steve captures her. He hits her on the wall due to it. She gets faint. Noah awakes and feels like something is taken out of her body. She wasn't in her senses as Steve has made her faint through an injection, and he was doing Noah's surgery. He separates her lower part as a punishment because she tried to escape. Molly moves to the bar where Noah met Steve and takes the details of Steve's card from the bar owner. So she will discover Steve's real name that was something else. She does not find Steve on social media, but she does learn about his wife and, and his home address. Noah was in pain because of surgery. Meanwhile, Steve arrives and picks up a girl for cutting her flesh. Noah starts reading a magazine placed there, on which it was written if you are reading this magazine means Steve likes you, and you can escape from here while getting a chance from it. It was written by a girl who has been imprisoned here before Noah. After a while, Noah calls the girl in the nearby room and says Steve should be given a bad death, as well as the people who enjoy eating our flesh. Molly also reaches the house where Anne lives. Molly tells the bar owner where is she at this time. So come to this address to find me if I will not return. Molly asks about Steve too and, and tells her that Steve has taken Noah and they are missing and says my husband can't do this kind of activity, you are misunderstood. Noah asks Steve how human flesh tastes and how it feels after eating it. Steve finds it strange that she is questioning him, but he claims that the taste of human flesh is as delicious as nothing else. Molly was talking to and meanwhile, Steve arrives and pretends in front of Molly like he doesn't know her. Molly secretly dials her number and when the phone rings, Steve answers, which means Steve has been apprehended. Meanwhile, and makes Molly faint while attacking her from behind. Steve comes to Noah and asks why she asked about the taste of human flesh. I just want to know if it's that tasty that people want to eat it, she says. Steve ignores her and leaves while placing her clothes. Now we discover and is also physically disabled. Steve brought her from somewhere and then married her. Now she was supporting Steve so he will not end her. Steve again places a girl's meat in the fridge. And there was the meat of many other girls even though he eats that meat. He was cutting a girl with a chainsaw in the yard of the house. A devil sign is shown nearby him and you should remember it. Steve had dinner with Noah because her lower half was separated and she was in pain while sitting. Noah inquires since when he is doing all this, eating girl's flesh. On it, he says I tasted a girl's meat when I was 19. For the first time and I enjoyed it, obviously I can't tell this to anyone. Then I found people who were fond of eating girls meat like me, and I discovered such people exist in this world. They are not ordinary people, but they are rich, and they give me the money I demanded this meat. Steve makes Noah eat a dish made with human flesh and she somehow eats it. She says it has the same taste as you told me, amazing. She was saying this to gain Steve's trust. With it, those people are shown who enjoyed eating girls meat, and they are found in our world. They are strange and the starting point is there is the same devil sign on their plate. Steve drops Noah in the room. Then he takes Molly to cut her meat, but Noah wasn't aware of this. Noah starts vomiting while coming to the room. She was feeling strange because she has eaten the girl's meat. Steve does the surgery on Molly and separates her meat. Then he again brings clothes for Noah and says we will have dinner together. Noah also wants this because she was doing this to escape. She dresses up and walks over to Steve with a fake smile. Steve forces her to eat the meat of the insane girl who used to sing all the time. Then he shows her a wooden wall. There were the belongings of the dead girls in its boxes. As clients request those items in addition to the meat, they can get a sense of the person whose meat they are eating. Noah asks, where are my things? He says, I haven't placed your things because I didn't think of ending you yet. Noah found Molly's phone, and she understands that Molly is also imprisoned here. She becomes depressed and starts weeping deep inside. But then she controls herself and they had dinner. They dance after having food and during this, Noah cuts Steve's leg badly. Steve was feeling pain because she has separated a piece of his meat and there was blood on his face. Then she gets the keys getting a chance and releases Molly and the other girl. The girl has one foot so they were sending her upstairs through a lift, but there was Steve who stops her to go upstairs. Noah and Molly arrive and make Steve injured while beating him. Steve awakes and beats Noah but the girl saves her. After it, the girls teach Steve a good lesson, they cut his body and bite him brutally. The bar owner has also arrived outside while searching Molly. Now the girls were running while coming out of the house to escape, but Steve arrives with a gun. He was finding the girls, but until then the girls were hidden, and moves inside the house and finds blood there. Seeing it, she understands the girls escaped. Steve was finding Noah, but Molly attacks him from behind. 
The girls again attack Steve and beats him. In the end, Noah ends his game while shooting him with his own gun and now they were saved. Noah's mobile was missing so she moves to find it and sees Steve's dead body and asks her servant to keep him in the fridge. Then she faces Noah and she acts in front of her like she is also escaping from Steve and she tries to kill Noah while choking her neck because she wants to take her husband's revenge. Noah somehow tries to escape while stabbing a key into her neck but she again holds her and this time she was about to kill her. However, Molly honors friendship by saving her while attacking Anne. She beats Anne and kills her. After it, Noah's mobile is shown and there was a boy's text to meet. This is where the movie ends. If you like the explanation, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.